At the start of Elden Ring, you're given a choice to take on a maiden. And with this, you're able to level up, get stronger, and then take down foes and bosses with ease. Now, the one question I had was, can you beat the game without a maiden? And this doesn't just boil down to skill, it boils down to, will the game let you get to the ending without a maiden guiding you to the end of the game? So buckle up, grab some snacks, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into this journey. So first things first, we have to make our character. Um, right away, we're staying level 1, maidenless, and we're going to see how far we can get. So we're going to pick the wrench class. Um, with that, I'm just picking a preset that was already made, and we're going to load right into the game now. Now, if you guys played Elden Ring, I'm sure you guys know the starting area. Um, if not, it's a very... Um, I, how can I put this? Straight, straightforward. Um, you're probably gonna die here, and then we'll get on to the main game. So we're just gonna run through this real quick. Now, when this boss comes up, I'm sure a lot of you guys died, and boy, oh boy, do I have a surprise for you. Time for some good old revenge. This is for everyone that died here, everyone that thought they had to beat you. Suck on it. It's over 9,000! So moving on, we're going to make our way out of the starting area. Um, I'm also doing this to get revenge on anything that's giving me a hard time. Also just, screw this guy. I hate him. Hate him so much. This next one is for everyone who started this game and thought they could take down the tree sentinel at the start. Here you go. Stock on a tree sentinel. Moving on. So I puttered my naked armorless body over to the site of grace where we're supposed to meet our maiden. Um, once we get there, I just shoot her down. So to advance to the second half of the game, we do have to get at least two great runes. So we're just going to make quick work of some of the bosses here. Um, enjoy the montage because since we don't have a horse, it is a lot of running around, so enjoy the very quick death montage. Now with all of that, I now have in my possession two great runes, so it's time for me to start making my way towards the royal capital. Um, but since I'm not deciding to um, get the medallions for the great lift, we are going to go around, and that's what I started the scheme. There is a mine and a tunnel that takes you up and around, so you don't need to get the medallions which I find is nice. So the most tedious thing about doing all of this and the reason why I decided to do it with cheats on is because I'm not really sure how it's going to go. Um, there's a lot of running and being level one, um, there is so much uncertainty. And I'm playing my main save on my PS5. Um, this one is on, so this file is on my PC. Um, it is strictly offline. Um, so I was like, let's do this because I am intrigued. I want to know, like, right now. Um, so I decided to make the video. It's mostly for me. I was intrigued. I wanted to know what would happen. So we are actually almost at that point where we're going to find out what happens. Now, right away, we're hit with that we don't have enough great runes. And I thought maybe the two that I had wasn't good enough, especially the one from the Academy. So with that, I decided to go ahead and hunt down the Star Scourge Verdon. A lot of people had problems with this boss, myself included. It took me almost 40 tries to beat him. No cap, I'm not gonna boost myself up. But here we go, everyone. Let's kill this son of this SOB in one shot. <laughs> so with that, I warp back 
to the gate, the barrier, and I run up to it, and it's still not letting me through. So I was like, man, what the hell? What What is going on here? And upon inspection, it turns out that we do need to talk to Melina. Um, unfortunately, the game soft locks you from actually moving ahead without a maiden. So we did that and I tried to go through again, maybe with just having the horse, having her as my maiden. Um, but even still, you still can't pass through unless you end up going to the round table beforehand. So the game actually blocks you from getting through the barrier until you go to the round table, come back, and then you can actually pass through, regardless of how many great runes you have. And I just think that is absolute horseshit that they locked progression like that. One of my favorite things about any of the Soul games is how they always gave you like freedom in a sense and you could do things in any way, any order. I just thought it'd be really cool if they had a way for you to beat the game without a maiden and un like just unlock a secret ending. I think that would have been so dope, but for now, this is as soft or as far as you can get. The game is putting a barrier up for you guys. So level one maidenless run is impossible a level run like a level one run is possible but to do it completely maidenless unfortunately is impossible so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh thank you so much for going on this journey with me um i'm happy i used cheats to get this far um this fast because it only took me like an hour or two hours to do um but honestly, for anybody that tried to do this maidenless level one, I am so sorry for you guys because I would be absolutely pissed. But thank you so much again, everyone, for joining me on this journey. I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys next time.